We're speaking about the action model and we've spoken about confidence. The second aspect that I want to talk to you about is our frustration. Oh yes, that's frustration. We all have a level of frustration in our lives. And that level of frustration changes depending on, I don't know, a whole bunch of external stuff. But also internal. If we're having a bad day, if we get out of bed the wrong side, or a bad hair day, or if we're just not feeling well, that level of frustration definitely changes. And based on, you know, where we are hormonally, where we are in health-wise, where we are with, um, you know, our eating habits, sugar levels, loud music, um, frustrating outside people, barking dogs, traffic, um, obnoxious bosses, incompetent staff, frustrated suppliers, people not paying. That level of frustration just peaks and valleys throughout the day. Now it's very interesting to monitor someone's frustration and you can do a, a kind of an energy diary and a frustration diary and if, you, if you're someone that finds yourself getting frustrated the idea is you can't necessarily address the frustration but you need to address the causes and you do that by acknowledging the source of your frustration. So what we want to do in this graph called frustration is we want to change it to sources of frustration because those are the key points. Those are the points that we need to address and identify. And remember, there's an interesting thing. There's that we always say that we are only angry and frustrated because we let other people anger and frustrate us. Oh, so the ball's in our court. So we are responsible for our levels of frustration, even though we, oh, we like to blame everyone else, don't we? We like to point fingers at this car and that person and this, and it's there, look what they're doing to me. But ultimately it's an, it's an attitude adjustment and that level of frustration in our life is depending on us and our attitude towards those root causes of our frustration. An interesting level as we look at that, but because each day, every cycle that we have um, has got those people and you can avoid those guys, you can avoid the situations, you can avoid the circumstances, and you can try avoid being hungry by eating at the right time so you're not going to get frustrated, but work on that. But as we graph our level of frustration that goes out throughout the day and throughout the weeks and the months, it's very, very important to know where your level of frustration is because the next factor that we're going to talk to in our action model has a direct impact on the action that we take. So watch the next one and we'll bring all three of these together.